really to like the educator because I get, I get feedback about our products and we get to give feedback. Let me give you a good example. I'm holding up the new ZI8. This is a brand new product, okay? This is the only commercial that you'll get, okay? But this is the ZI8, it shoots 1080p, 720, five megapixel still camera, so has in our ZI6 before, our ZI6, and said, man, if you could just put a mic jack in there. And then the other thing that they said they didn't like about the competition and ours was that we had a rigid USB connection. So we built in a flexible one. At the same time, they said, geez, can you put an external you know, media card in there? So we put up to 32 megs and made it a lot easier. And that came all from our customers. So the second one was about educate. So it's not just about us educating, it's as Stephen and others had said, it's about us listening and getting this information and in a matter of a few months, take a product that was pretty good to a product that's really great. And this product is outselling the competition. A product review came out in the Boston Globe immediately after we released the product. And they said, this is the greatest product they've seen for digital pocket video cameras, but the name is terrible. What marketing genius came up with the name, okay? I printed it out, ran downstairs to the 8th floor, grabbed every marketing person that I could possibly find. We are not naming the next product the AA, the BB, or whatever it is. I'm sick of it. We're going to come up with a real name. What are we going to do? And how much time do we have? Someone said, well, Jeff, to get through the clearances, we have seven days. Seven days. What are we going to do? Someone said, let's go to Twitter. Went out. In a matter of days, we got thousands and 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 thousands, and I can keep going, names submitted to us. We had some great names, okay? My personal favorite, Pocket Rocket. Okay? <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't use that. That would require at least a full day in HR, in an HR seminar. Um, in, in, the, in the states, because uh, it's not quite politically correct, but uh, that's what would well, that's what would happen there. And for instance, I had someone who wrote to me once, or actually wrote to all of us at Kodak, and said on Twitter, "I hate your effing, 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 effing products." I think I don't have to translate that, do I? Very upset uh, in terms of what was going on with our products and so forth, and was mad about something. But with the fact that we can read that see that, engage with the person, find out what happened with that person and understand it, sympathize with it sometimes, because sometimes, hey, we just screw up, we make mistakes. I mean, you know, no, hopefully no one's gonna die, but we're not trying to make mistakes, but we don't do things perfectly. But now we get to have a conversation with this person and that person became an evangelist for us because we took the time to make out all the filters, have a direct conversation with that person, and as a result, became a much better customer for us, became what we would call a brand ambassador. And so for brands, you're gonna find out that engagement is the new ROI, okay? For businesses that are trying to do this, it's about the engagement and getting engaged with their customers and listening and having that conversation. A lot of people uh, refer to ROI, you know, as return on investment. We like to think of it about as return on ignoring. What is your return on ignoring as a business and not participating, not playing, not, not watching the attorneys and HR community and a lot of the corporate types want to put a lot of rules around that. And what we find with this stuff is there are no rules. And so there are some guidelines, maybe, some practical. Someone said, well, what happens if someone posts a photo that's inappropriate? Well, they're only going to do it once. First of all, you're going to, if you're a brand, you're, you're going to realize that you don't have control of those kinds of things and you're going to see a lot of things that you might not like. Now, we're going to diligently go after every single one of those because we have to. It's our intellectual property. It's who we are. And you want to do that. You also, I mean, there, and there's a lot of, uh, at the first conference that I spoke at, I actually crowdsourced the word for people who use bad behavior. It's now in Wikipedia. It's now made itself to the, to the Twitter artery, and the word is twanker, okay? <laughs> so there are a lot of twankers out there. Now these are people who use very bad form, who get into, these, get into the hashtags or are spamming. And by the way, if one of you sends me one more Mafia War invitation, <laughs> I am personally going to kill you, okay? <laughs> 
you, you need to be careful. And I, we especially tell our employees, and I'll tell you, as you become more well-known in the Twitter lottery, more well-known in Twitter, there are some bad people out there. There are stalkers. There are people who will want to do you harm. So do not Twitter that you're home alone. Do not Twitter that I'm in such and such hotel, in such and such room, or I'm in a park all by myself and it's dark, come and get me, okay? Because there are people who will show up and they will try to do you harm. This is a society like anything else and so you should use good lots of good things. Some brands get it, some brands don't. And you know, and, and like Twitter, I always tell people, they said, you know, I was yesterday, I was on the UK uh, BBC, uh, BBC show, uh, working lunch for about 30 minutes. I got to talk about social media. And they said, well, who gets it? I said, one third of people will get Twitter right away. One third will eventually get it. And one third will never.